The first useful website I have for you today in a wide variety of categories is Have I Been Pwned? The site created by security expert Troy Hunt allows users to check if their email address or password has been compromised in a data breach. To find out if one of your accounts has been compromised, enter your email address in the search bar. Either click enter or click the search button. Hopefully you get this message in green that says, good news, no pwnage found. Otherwise, if your account has been compromised, you'll get this message in red, oh no, pwned. It'll show you the number of sites where it's been breached and the number of pastes. A paste is information that has been posted publicly on a website where hackers can anonymously share information. Listed below, you'll find all the sites where your account has been compromised, if you've been affected by a data breach, I'd recommend changing your login password immediately for your email address and for each service where your account was breached. Up next, Mix is useful for discovering new content on the internet personalized for you. It was created by the same team behind the former StumbleUpon, which was a favorite of ours back in the day. On Mix, it will suggest interesting sites, articles, social media posts, and other stuff. Here's how it works. Whether you're setting it up on their site or on their iOS or Android app, you'll need to create an account. Look for the notification in the upper right. Click on or tap. Select your favorite topics to personalize your feed. Go through it and select stuff that's interesting to you. Like if you're interested in interior design, click on the plus. Let's go through some more of these. I like cars. And some of the topics here I'll select include motorsports, classic cars, Formula One, and concept cars. You could continue going through the rest of these on here or in the upper right, click on Start Exploring. On Mix, using the thumbs up, thumbs down will make this better for you, recommending more content you want than you don't. If you're planning to take a road trip, Make My Drive Fun is useful to help discover fun and interesting places along the way. It's simple to use. Just enter the city you're leaving from. Let's go with New Orleans and the city you're traveling to. Let's go with Phoenix. In the upper left, you can use the plus or minus to zoom in and out on the map, or you could use your mouse wheel. You can hover your mouse over the attractions to get the names and additional information. Like this one has the world's oldest, largest pecan. Let's check out a few others here. A giant armadillo something called Monster Mini Golf, and the Muffler Man Cowboy. The only thing that would make this better is if it was integrated with something like Google Maps or Waze. Just Watch is a fantastic free site that acts kind of like a streaming guide to help users find out where to stream TV shows and movies from just about every platform available, including Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Hulu, Apple TV Plus, and many others. On their homepage, it'll offer suggestions of what to watch, Severance in Season 2 is killing it. To find out where a show or film is streaming, you can do a search here at the top. Let's go with The White Lotus. And we want the show that began in 2021. Their newest season just came out in 2025. Scroll down. This is where you can see where it's available to stream, and in some cases where it's available to rent or buy. This season, according to this, is available to stream on Max. Open Culture is a cool website that helps to find the best cultural and educational media available on the web. Here you can find free online courses, movies, audiobooks, ebooks, online certificate programs, along with other free stuff. For example, if you were looking for free online courses, you can find more than 1,700 courses in a wide variety of subjects from some of the world's leading universities, including MIT, Stanford, Harvard, Oxford, and many others. This will be a quick one. I've mentioned many resume and CV makers in the past. Many people aren't aware that Canva, the popular online graphics design platform, has its own free resume builder with hundreds of templates available to help you present a concise summary of your qualifications. Canva also has a free CV maker if you're wanting to present a full history of your academic accomplishments. Make, from the folks at Make Magazine, is another DIY site, which is similar to one I've shown you in the past called Instructables. On Make, they make it easy to find a project. You can filter by category with more than a dozen to choose from. You can filter the difficulty level and how long it will take 
to complete a project. When you select a project, below the image, it will show you the time required, the difficulty level, and the cost of the parts needed for the project. Make is also responsible for the Maker Fair, which is a gathering of tech enthusiasts, crafters, and hobbyists, with multiple events being held around the world. Camel 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 is a price tracker for Amazon that's been around for many years. Since prices can fluctuate quite a bit on Amazon, the site helps to make sure that you're getting a good price based on historical data. I've mentioned their extension, the Camelizer, in the past in our browser extension videos. If you don't want to use their extension, you can use their website. Just copy the URL of the product page on Amazon and paste it into the search box here at the top. Then hit enter. This is for an NVIDIA RTX 5080 video card. Let's scroll down. Even though the product hasn't been around for very long, according to the price chart, it has dropped quite a bit from its high, which is still expensive. Just a reminder, Amazon does not always have the best price. Sometimes it's worth the extra effort checking other sites to get a better deal. Duolingo is a language learning platform many of you have probably heard of. In addition to their iOS and Android apps, you can also learn on their site on a much bigger screen, which is what I prefer. Once you get started, they'll ask you to select a language and they have many to choose from. Let's go with Swedish. And from here on out, just read and follow the instructions. A website from Google that is actually useful is called Google Fonts. It offers a large collection of fonts that you can download and use on posters, flyers, websites, or anything else you can think of. Unlike sites that charge for fonts, all on here are 100% completely free. They have a ton of filters here on the left to narrow down your selection. Select one that you like. In the upper right, select Get Font. I won't do this now. Select Download All to save it to your computer. Then refer to your specific operating system's instructions for installing fonts. Broadcastify is a cool site that lets you listen to live audio streams from police, fire, and EMS departments, along with many other types of scanners in more than two dozen countries. It's easy to use. Click on Listen. Select your country. There are many to choose from. Click on your state. I'll go with Louisiana. Click Retrieve. And I'll go with Orleans Parish. Let's scroll down, and you'll see the various choices available. Click on the feed you'd like to listen to, then click on Play. Bleeping Computer is a tech site I visit every day. It operates as a computer help site for users of all skill levels and has the latest security news not often covered by mainstream tech. They have tutorials in a wide variety of categories, including all of the popular operating systems. They also have fantastic forums with many active users to get help with your technical issues. Every time zone is ultra useful for those times you need to calculate another time zone in relation to yours. For example, I live in the central time zone in the US. Let's say I had a friend, family member, or client in London that needs to be called at 11 a.m. in their time zone. To figure out when in your time zone that you need to call, drag the slider in the row for London to 11 a.m. And you'll see here it's 11 a.m. At the top, it shows your location's time in relation to the other time zone, which in this case, it's 6 a.m. in the central time zone in the U.S. when it's 11 a.m. in London. I'll mention this quickly. Four Tests is a practice test site for high school, college, and professional exams. If you or someone you know is preparing to take college entrance exams, as you know, there are a lot of paid sites where you can get help. Fortest is one of those rare sites that is completely free. For those times you need stock footage, Unsplash is a website you should have bookmarked. Unlike pricey stock photo sites like Adobe Stock, Getty, and the others, it's completely free. If you find an image you want to download, selecting the drop down in the upper right lets you choose from small, medium, large, and the original size. All photos on Unsplash are covered by their license, meaning all images can be downloaded and used for free for commercial and non-commercial purposes. A Soft Murmur is an online background noise generator that is useful in helping you to relax, focus, and tune out unpleasant sounds. Many people find it helpful to improve their concentration. It's easy to use. 
just adjust the individual volume sliders to create your perfect mix. In addition, you can create timers, mixes, and share your mixes with others in various social networks. Here's a quick example. When you're ready to start playing your mix, just click the play button. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you have a useful website you'd like to share with others, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest useful websites videos and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.